In this video I'm going to show you how you can fully automatically compute camera tracks for Blender. Instead of using the movie clip editor to define markers and track them throughout your video sequences, I recommend to use structure for motion libraries to perform the reconstruction. I wrote a Blender add-on that allows you to import different file formats of different structure for motion libraries. Currently it's possible to import reconstruction results of Visual SFM, Callmap, OpenMVG and Meshroom into Blender. From those libraries I think Meshroom is the most popular one so I will show you how you can actually compute your camera track with Meshroom. First go to the alicevision.org web page, scroll down to Meshroom, click on download and select the zip file for your operating system. I already downloaded it and extracted the folder. Inside a folder you find an executable which you can just start. For this tutorial I will work with this dataset uh, in this repository here. Uh, you will find the link in the description. Just download the zip file. I've also done that already, so the images are here. Navigate to the folder, select the images, drag them into Meshroom. On the bottom uh, you see the complete pipeline of Meshroom. It's not only a structure for motion library, it also performs multi-view stereo, which means that you can also compute fully textured um, 3D meshes of your environment. But for now we are only interested in the structure for motion part so I'm going to delete all those um, other non-related steps. In addition I will add a convert SFM format node which allows us to write to convert the structure for motion result to another format. Clicking on the convert SFM format node uh, I am able to select the structure for motion file format. Okay, Let's save the result in a new folder. Let's call it Meshroom Project and give the file some name, let's call it test, click on save and let's start the reconstruction. So um, here as well as here you can see the different colors which uh, indicate the progress of the computation. So green means uh, the computation step is already performed, orange denotes the current step and the teal like color are steps which have not been computed so far. The feature extraction uh, corresponds to the detection of your features in Blender and the feature matching is more or less uh, the, the tracking part in Blender. Structure for motion is then a step which computes your camera poses and a 3D point cloud. The specs of my uh, PC are not really high, so depending on your settings this might run even faster for you. Okay, so the reconstruction has finished. Um, let's scroll in a bit. Okay, so we can see nicely the point cloud. Maybe we can take a bird view so we get an idea how the 3D structure looks like. These are the reconstructed camera poses. If you click on, on the cameras, you can see on the left side a corresponding image. Okay. 
if I click on the convert SFM format node and scroll down here uh, I can see a path and uh, I'm going to open that location on my computer now and this is the SFM file which just uh, generated which contains the reconstruction content. I will copy it for convenience convenience here on the desktop. Okay, in the next step um, we have to install the add-on for Blender. So I downloaded uh, the add-on from the web page so just click here on download zip navigate to the folder and here you find this photogrammetry importer directory you have to compress it with FIP for example and press OK now click on edit preferences make sure add-ons is selected click on install navigate to the add-on and click on install add-on make sure the add-on is selected now by activating the add-on you have here several input options for the different file formats um, select mushroom import and navigate again to the to the file. So this is sfm.sfm and to view also the images you can uh, navigate to the original image folder and just enter the path here. And to improve the visualization of the reconstruction we are going to adjust the number of frames between two reconstructed camera poses. Click on import and let's delete the default cube um, if you click on cycles you see that the point cloud and the cameras are actually rendered but let me adjust the scale so right click on this collection select all the objects go to the pivot point select individual origins click S adjust the scale of the cameras and the corresponding image planes you can also adjust the scale of the point cloud by clicking on this particle shape node ok in addition we got um, the animated camera you can also scale this a bit down and just uh, if we play the animation we see that the animated camera just moves along the reconstructed camera poses and the uh, number of frames between two reconstructed poses determines yeah, the frames in the animation here so I hope that this uh, pipeline, this workflow is really useful for you and I hope you have a nice day